Hey guys, we are going to have some fun today styling up the color green. It is a hot trending color for fall winter 2021. Pantone is calling it leprechaun green, but we're just going to call it green. Emerald, Kelly green, whatever you want to call it. If you don't have this specific shade of green that I have on, don't worry, you can pull out any shades of green that you already have in your closet. The point of these videos is just truly to get you inspired to shop your closets. So you don't feel you always have to buy, buy, buy new every time a new season comes around. The trick with green is that we want to tone it down. So I want to focus on different ways that we can do that and still make it very wearable and not tacky. And I also want to focus on accessories. So jewelry that can really work with it and complement this shade as well and makeup colors. So let's get started. Let's have some fun and really get excited for wearing green. Okay, so it is assessment time. We're gonna break down all the looks that I put together today. So for look number one here, I thought the best thing to do would just be to wear it with black. Black is probably the easiest color to pair with Kelly Green or Emerald Green, whatever, because everybody has black. So it's, it's easy, it's simple, monochromatic. I did the top and the pants. And then I wanted to also show you accessories. So how you could also accessorize with Kelly Green is by pulling in some jewelry that has Kelly Green in it and maybe some other colors to bring in other pops of color. So I happen to have this necklace, it's really old, I never wear it, but I really like how it looks here along the neckline against the black. And then I just love that it has the green and the, the emerald green color in it. It's just really fun. Let's talk about this inspiration picture that I have. I love this model. I really like that her green is on her pants, on her lower half of her body, um, because it's opposite of what I have. So it's giving you an idea of what a green bottom will look like with a black top. So I thought this would just be good to talk about. And then I actually really like that she has on a silver metallic heel. That looks really good paired with the green, the silver. So that's another option that you can really think about. Maybe you have a silver metallic clutch or a bag, so you could add that. So it just depends on what you have. But I really like that look, and I think it's a great inspiration photo. So I have also added a black bag. This is a thrifted bag I got, and I absolutely love this bag. I think it's just a really professional, sophisticated bag, so it's perfect with the heels and everything. The shoes I have on are just like, um, they're kind of like the Bottega Veneta, or however you say that. Um, the slides that are really in style right now, they're like that like puffy quilted material. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm really liking this overall look, guys, and I think it's pretty easy to do. So uh, you can reverse everything if you have green skirts or green pants and try a black top or black blouse. Uh, or a black sweater, um, even try adding in a little bit of silver, which would be fun. And then, or if you just have a black bag, then I'm showing you that option. So look number two here, we're getting back into the accessories. So I have on these earrings right here. And what I love about these earrings is that they are Swarovski crystals and they're super lightweight. So that is like my favorite thing about them. They're really lightweight and then they're red. We're going to talk about red against the green. So red and green are supposed to be a great pairing. However, red and green outfits, they can scream Christmas elf and uh, we don't wanna look like elves. I think using Jewelry is a great way to tie in the red and green. So if you have any jewelry with red in it, pair it up with your green and see how it looks for you if it's working. So I just wanted to show you that option. Then when I do really blingy earrings, I do like to tone it down with a jean and, and dress it down a little bit. So I have on my favorite Levi's jeans, they're 501s. And then I have the same bag that I had in the last look. And then uh, for shoes, I have now a flat slide patent leather black shoe. And there's a little bit of patent leather in my bag. So I really like the way that looks together. So I'm casually like adding some coolness to this look and dressing it down a little bit. So I like the way that turned out here. So now for look number three, 
Now we're getting into a different color combination. It might look like black uh, to you, but it's navy blue. My sweater is vintage. I love it. It's a really awesome sweater. And I'm wearing an indigo colored dress pant from Express. I've had these pants forever, and so I really wanted to focus on the darker, deeper blue tones paired with the green. I think this is a really nice color combination. I think it works really well. So you could do black or you can do navy blue or dark denim and it will look really nice. And then uh, for the accessories for my bag and shoes, I decided to match it up. So a lot of times I don't do matching bags and matching shoes. So for somebody that likes a more extremely well put together outfit, they like to match a lot. I wanted to show you this option with this look and this is a great office look. That's what I did here for you guys. It's really comfortable. I love having sweaters on. It's a more fitted type of sweater so it fits pretty well underneath the jacket. Now getting on to the next look here. Look number four. I left the navy blue sweater on and I happened to find a green skirt in my closet that I actually wasn't really thinking about. I was going through all my clothing uh, this week, uh, just preparing for fall, and I came across this skirt and I'm like, oh, I could try this with the navy blue sweater. So I like how this looks. It's a fun touch if you're a skirt person and you have a green skirt, try pairing navy blue up top. I really like to keep the same bag on and the same shoes, so we're sticking to those matching shoes and bag look. And then for earrings, I decided to show you like a nice emerald green earring because I have the green on the bottom half, so I thought that the green earring would be nice because there's a little break at the top here with the navy and then we go back to green on the ear. So I wanted to show you that. Those are just emerald green studs with diamonds I got for my birthday one year, I love them. And then another thing that I'm doing, I'm showing you just quickly how it looks when you can roll the sleeves up and then have them down. Putting them up, it takes the outfit to a little bit more elevated cool factor. So I just wanted to show you uh, why I have the arms rolled up. I just think it looks cooler. And you can put them down, it doesn't really matter. It's really a personal choice, but that's just a little styling thing I wanted to go over with you. All right, so for my next look here, number five. I wanted to go over a light aqua or blue color paired with the greens and I really love this sweater. It's one of my favorite sweaters. I got it last year thrifting and I love the color of it. It's so, so cute. Love the puffy sleeves and I think it's fun. I could also see this kind of top in this color paired with a green tailored pant. So like a nice tailored green trouser more like of a pencil pant, but I could also see a wider leg or a straight leg pant as well with it too. So I really like the color combination. And then this time I wanted to add in some uh, metallic gold just to uh, show you that option. So I have a metallic gold handbag and metallic gold uh, sandals. And then I have in earrings that match the sweater. So that's that look. And then for my last look here, number six, I really wanted to make sure that I went over, for somebody who doesn't have green at all, and you might be like watching this thinking, I don't have any green, but I have green shoes or I have green boots. So this is why I wanted to uh, do this look. So I have these green cowboy boots. They're really awesome. I think they're Steve Madden. I got them off eBay secondhand and they're really good condition and I love these boots. So for somebody who does not have green tops or bottoms in their wardrobe and if you have green boots like these or something similar, then uh, this is a great fall outfit. I have a mini skirt here that has the same color green in it in the pattern and then I have on a, just a chunky black turtleneck sweater. I love this sweater and then a brown bag that I think looks really good with the boots, this color bag. So I like the mix here of the black and the brown and then the green boots. This is such a fall outfit. So that is my outfits here. And then one last thing I wanna talk about is lipstick and makeup. So when you have this kind of color and say you are somebody that has, like for me, I have super fair olive skin and I have really cool eyes and I have cool hair. So a lot of colors for me do not work. I actually don't really care. I just wear 
whatever colors that I'm drawn to and I don't care if they really complement my skin tone or not. But a way that you can kind of overcome that uh, is by focusing more on your makeup. I don't love to wear makeup. I actually prefer to keep my makeup pretty simple, but when I don't have lip color on with this green, whoo, does it wash me out. My favorite lipsticks are Revlon Colorstay Ultra Suede. These lipsticks are awesome. They're long lasting, but they don't give you that like tacky matte, like drying feeling. They do actually work pretty good for mature women. When I want my lipstick to last, I like to use this and it does wear off a little tiny bit if you're eating, but not a ton. And it, it has a good long lasting, like probably seven hours. So the red is a great way to focus on the green and red pairing through your makeup. So I like the red lip really into that but you know based on your skin tone you might want to like focus on just trying other makeup colors that work for you when you're wearing green so i'm not like a color specialist here guys i'm just really giving you my own thoughts on color and and how i approach getting dressed and wearing color so i hope this was helpful today I'm so happy that we're doing color videos. I feel like you guys are talking more, so don't forget to comment below your thoughts and suggestions and things that you like to wear with green. So tell me how you wear green. I think it's great to just really get our brains thinking and um, getting more inspired by wearing color. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.